Lizzie! Yes! There's too much cuteness. Oh my gosh, yes! Do it! Both of you, yes! This is gonna be the best series ever! Hey guys, and welcome to a brand new Sim series that's gonna be starting on my channel. And the theme, of course, is Raising Magical YouTubers. So I recently found three really cool mods. A Sorcerer mod, a Fairy mod, and a Mermaid mod. And I was like, hmm, how can I play around with these mods? Oh yeah, I'll just raise them as YouTubers like I always do. So just like the good old days of season one of raising YouTubers, I'm gonna be raising them from toddlers all the way to adults. And the original cast for the series, I changed up a little bit. I also have to remake everybody in a more magical form because I lost the toddler files from when I first created them. I have a lot to do this episode, so let's just start. First off is me, of course, who is now a super parent again, but I've decided to make me a non-magical galaxy queen, just so I fit in with all the other magical people, even though I'm not. So let's see what we can do. All right, and here is me as a galaxy queen. She looks so freaking cool. I love this hairstyle. She's even got a heart galaxy necklace. Ugh, I love it. She looks so magical and whimsical. That's her every day. This is her formal. My goodness. Athletic, I kind of kept the same. Sleeping, I changed to the galaxy-ish pants. This is party and swim, I kept the same. I love her so much. And now moving on to the toddlers. All right, so I decided to do nine YouTubers to raise and I don't plan to add any other ones during the series. Just gonna start off with a ton. And out of those nine, I decided I decided to put three of each into each of the magical mod categories. So the first magical mod category that I'm gonna make is going to be the fairy squad. And the first of the three fairy squad members is Lizzie, aka LD, Shadow Lady, of course. All right, let's make the magical version of Lizzie. And here is little fairy Lizzie. She is so cute. I had to give her the bedazzled pink dress. And look at her eyes. They look so magical. Ah, oh, she's so cute. And I decided I found this space bun hair. And I've seen photos of her doing space buns before. Plus, it's her perfect hair color, so I had to give it to her. But she is so freaking cute. Her trait is going to be angelic. <laughs> All right, our next fairy squad member is going to be Joey Graceffa. Because he's just so magical in real life. He had to be a fairy. Plus, I need at least one boy in each category. Let's do this. That moment when a toddler is way more glam than you will ever look in your life. My goodness, this looks, so, this looks so good. It looks so much like Joey. And Joey has the coolest, like, green eyes I've ever seen. And I think these do it justice, these magical green eyes. And then I didn't really know how to dress him because I didn't want to put him in a fairy dress. So I just gave him like cool rainbow things, like cool rainbow shoes and a rainbow shirt. And you know, we'll get him a better outfit when he gets older. We're limited in our choices because of not being able to find that much good toddler outfit CC. All right, and the last member of the fairy squad is Tiffany, AKA I has Cupquake. Because she too in real life dresses just too magical magically to not be a fairy. All right, and here is Cupquake. She looks so cute. I gave her the brown like magical eyes. I gave her these like PC eyelashes. Her hair is magical. I gave her this butterfly dress. Yay. And I'm just gonna make all the fairies angelic. <laughs> That's just their squad yeah. trait. All right, moving on next to the sorcerer squad, AKA yeah. the witches and wizards. <laughs> and first up is going to be our witch, Yasmin, AKA Yami. And here is little witch Yammy. I had a witch's hat, but for some reason it's not working. But the outfit's working, so she gets the little witch outfit. And she's got the cool eyes, of course, and the gorgeous lashes. And she is good yeah. to go. And the witch's <laughs> traits are going to be explorers. So they need to figure out all the magical spells. All right, the next sorcerer, aka wizard, is going to be Scott, aka dang that's a long... I can't fit it. Good enough. All 
right, and here is Scott. I think I'm gonna dress all of these sorcerers in like dark cloak clothing, just so I can tell them apart. But then he's super bright and colorful up here, and his shoes match as well. And then Inquisitor. All right, and the last sorcerer is going to be Callum. AKA Sipike. And that is because I know he absolutely loves Harry Potter. All right, and here is Callum. So I still gave him the black shirt, but I mean, there's these fox pants. I had to give them to him and these orange shoes. But his hair is pretty awesome too, pretty spot on. He's got his magical eyes and he's good to go. There we go. All right, and the last group is of course the mermaid group. And our first mermaid is actually gonna be a merman. And that of course is gonna be Joel aka smallish beans. You may be wondering, Lauren, why is Joel a mermaid? Well, Joel's Minecraft persona is Shrek, and Shrek lives at the swamp. So we're gonna make Joel a special swamp pond, and he's gonna be a swamp merman. Perfect. All right, here is Joel. Now, I didn't know what to do for the mermaids because I can't give them a mermaid tail until they get older. So I just gave him a fish shirt and a fish pair pants and blue shoes. You know, water, sure. And mermaid's trait is gonna be wild. <laughs> Perfect. All right, in the last two, I have to make it a separate household because I can't do more than eight until after I start playing. So next up, fellow mermaid is going to be Ollie, AKA the Orion Sound. Because usually he's some sort of trash rodent in my series. Now he can be a swamp creature with Joel. All right, let's make Ollie. All right, and here is Ollie. I know this isn't a panda hat, but you know, it's close enough. And he's got his panda shirt, and I gave him his new flip hairstyle he's got going on. And of course, the magical eyes. And there's Ollie. And last but not least, the last mermaid and the last toddler to be added to the series is going to be Cassie, AKA Glue. Here's Cassie, who I actually went pretty simple with. I gave her a bathing suit, and you know, she's good with that. She is ready to become a mermaid instantly. And there we go. We have our raising magical YouTuber toddlers. Now moving on to where they'll be living. So I decided to use this house off of the gallery by Find You because look at it. It looks so magical. Like, wow. And then here is a speed decorating of what I did on the inside. Gosh, look guys, it's me and all nine toddlers. I look dead inside already. I'm like, why? Why am I doing this again? Memories. But anyway, as you can see, our magical plot is ready. And I'm gonna take you guys on a tour. So first you walk down this beautiful, magically colored water walkway. And the first house you get to is this beautiful galaxy home. Who could possibly live here? Then you walk through the front doors. I forgot to put stuff on the shelf, <laughs> but whoa, look at it. It's so pretty and magical. This may be one of my favorite decorating house builds ever, 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 ever. But here's the little kitchen. The rug is amazing. It's just this little apartment for just me, my Sim. This is my bedroom. We have the dream catcher. Oh, it's so, space queen, yes. We have some space posters over here. And then here's the bathroom with a star mirror. I just love this place so much. I would live here in a heartbeat. But then I realized that the upstairs is kind of part of this house. So upstairs is this area. So I realized I kind of spread everybody into different houses, but while they're toddlers, they pretty much can't really go anywhere quickly. So I'm gonna try and take care of them upstairs in this room area. We have the feeding station, we have the bathroom station, we have the bed station, a bunch of toys and iPads, and this beautiful fairy tree plaything. And ah, oh, I love this play area. And they even have this little balcony to go out on. Totally not dangerous for children. <laughs> so then you walk past the galaxy house and you make a right and there's this kind of dark looking house over here. And you go inside and whoa, it 
it's magical! So this is obviously the sorcerer's area. If you make a right and come in here, there's some beautiful magic in the sky. And this beautiful fireplace with some witch and wizard stuff on top. We have the table with a cauldron of goodies. And some cool decorations. Over here we have witch's brew on the counter. And a little kitchen area. And then if you go upstairs, you will find an actual cauldron and this awesome bookcase that I spent time detailing. Look at all those little bottles I put. And that, and the books up there. That's like their spell area. And then if you come in here, it's the bedroom with some more magic posters on the wall. Oh my god, it's Hedwig. It's Hedwig the owl. And we even have a rat for one of them to use as their pet. And then there's this cute little witch on a broom over here. And yeah, that's the sorcerer house. It's super cool. And then if you leave the sorcerer house and you walk this way, and make a right. Ooh, what is this beautiful, scaly looking place? So just like my place, the mermaid area is separated into two houses. So I figure Gloom can have her own area because she's the only girl. And seriously, the mermaid areas might be some of my favorites because I found such cool custom content. Like, look at the shells. There's even shell little jewelry holders. Come on. Look at the bed. Yes. This is the mermaid statue that they need to use to become mermaids. And then this is the bathroom. And then if you come into the other building, it's the same thing. And I could only fit one of these beds into both buildings. So, um, Ollie and Joel may need to become really, really, really good friends in order to share this bed without, you know, freaking out. So we'll see. We'll see how that works. We don't have to worry about that till they grow out of the toddler phase anyway. Yeah, pretty much. I spent all this time decorating and we can't even use it for a couple episodes because because the toddlers can't really use any of this stuff. But look at all the shells. I went a little shell crazy, I know, I know. But look how cool. Like, look, there's even a starfish on the shell. And then lastly, of course, there's this little pastel rainbow area with fairies on the outside. Whose house could this be? Of course, it's the fairy area. So I even set up these little shelves with all of these different element jars. This side has all the crystal element jars. There's such a cute pastel area over here. This rainbow candle. We have fairy scents. I don't know what those do, if they do anything. We have fairy lights. We have a little like refreshment area. And then these are the three beds for the fairies. And then this is their little bathroom. I need to find, I wanna find a couple more fairy things to put like rugs down and decorative stuff. But for now, this is a pretty nice start. Super cute. And yes, that is an overview of all of the magical areas. Just look at them. This is, it's like the galaxy area, the sorcerer, witch and wizard area, the fairy area and the mermaid area. I love it so much. I love it so much. <laughs> it took me so long to make, but oh, look at it. It's like a piece of art. So normally I don't start playing on the first episode because most of the time I'm just showing you making all the characters, making the houses, which takes a ton of time. However, for this one, I think I'm going to quickly turn the fairies into fairies and the sorcerers into sorcerers. And the mermaids are just gonna have to wait because you can't turn the mermaids into mermaids. I think until they're a child or a teen. But yeah, I'm very excited to see what this is like because I have never used these mods. But apparently toddlers can become fairies and sorcerers. We'll start off with the fairies who I brought over here already, and this is the fairy tree. And they just need to plead with the fairy tree. Let's say, plead the fairies, plead the fairies, plead the fairies. I'm so excited. Oh crap, they can't get to the tree. Hold on. Okay, I think it's happening. I had to make it the normal size of the fairy tree, which is giant. <laughs> is that pleading? Or are you, what's going on? Is it, <gasps> oh, Lizzie. Oh my God, Lizzie's a fairy. Liz is a fairy. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm so excited. <gasps> Lizzie, you're so magical. Oh my gosh, she sprinkles sparkles everywhere. Oh, Lizzie, no. All right, Joey's turn. I'm so ready for this, yes? Yes! Oh my gosh. This is gonna be the best series ever. Okay, Cupquake. Oh my gosh, there's fairy dust everywhere. She's like, I wanna be a fairy too. Oh my gosh, this is, so, oh, it's just too much cuteness. There's too much cuteness. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. Fairy squad. Fairy squad for life. Okay, now we gotta move on to the sorcerers. Oh, I don't wanna leave you guys though. You're so cute. Oh, and it says, Tiffany has just turned into a magical fairy. She now has a beautiful pair of wings, an intense talent in the mischief skill, and some magical abilities. Ooh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait, guys. Oh my gosh, it's so cute. Except that you're all terrible already. I like how Lauren just like 
came over, looked, and then was like, nope, <laughs> not dealing with it. All right, meanwhile, stop destroying the house. Everybody, Scott, Callum, go investigate this lump of clay. I know it may seem weird, but it's gonna give you magical powers, okay? Oh my gosh, yes! Ooh, he's got cool orbs around him. Do it, both of you, yes. Yes, all three of them are magical now. <laughs> I'm running and I'm like, ooh. Oh, okay, apparently I don't care. Apparently getting magical powers is not more important than food. Oh, water, all right, that's a little better. But still, really, whoa, whoa. One of your toddlers is flying in the air, Lauren, and you do not care. Okay, bye. That's amazing. Okay, 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 don't do too much. Don't do too much. All right, we gotta get rid of these lump of clays. I don't want everybody getting powers. Oh my God, Joey got in here somehow. Joey, can you fly? Did you fly here? Cause that was pretty quick. Eh, maybe not. The poor mermaids though. She's like, yay, it's raining, yay. Wow, they're mermaids and they can't even go swimming right now. This is the swamp mermaid pool, by the way. The rest of the water looks really nice. I made a swamp one, you know, for Joel and Ollie. But that's gonna be it for this first episode of The Sims 4 Raising Magical YouTubers. I am so excited, guys. You have no idea. I mean, hopefully you guys are as excited, if not more than I am. Ooh, I forgot we live right by the ocean. But yeah, it's like exploring completely new mod pack that add three whole new elements to the game. The mermaid, the fairy, and the sorcerer. Ugh, I just, I can't wait. Let me know if you're excited for this series too by leaving a like before you go. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite category you think is gonna be. Is it gonna be the sorcerers, the fairies, or the mermaids? Which squad is gonna be your squad? Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I put out new videos every single day. And as always, I will see you guys soon.